da 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 So let's go ahead, let's go ahead, go get started. This might this might be very short because I want to get a game in. I want to play a game. I, I have a very special game. So the first Japanese TV cartoon that I'll talk about is Hamtaro. Hamtaro, yeah. Now, just so you know, uh, I, I couldn't find any good pictures of Hamtaro with the name. I could only find a Game Boy game <laughs> cover. Yeah, anyway. So Hamtaro is a is a t Japanese TV cartoon. It's like I explained before. I'm not talking about anime. You know, the kind of stuff that you have to kind of, you have to go to a, a cable channel to see or a streaming service to see. I'm talking about, you know, uh, you turn on a TV on, on, a, on any TV and you watch it any time during the week. And it's on all the time. That kind of, that kind of cartoon. And, and Hamtaro is for little kids. Little, 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 little kids. All right. And it's, and it's on every week. It's been around forever. For years and years and years. And there was a trend in America for a little while. A little while. So, so anime became super popular in America in the early 2000s. Like 2000 to 2005. And it was sort of a new industry. To be honest, it was sort of new. And it became super popular there was a, there was a there was a hungry audience for it and of course we got all the the usual the other usual you got your cowboy bebop we got your your gundam you know you got all that and it's huge now D don't misunderstand me anime is huge today huge it's a huge industry but but what about the everyday japanese cartoon that you know that the little kids would watch after school <clears throat> or while they were doing their homework. Uh, so, so during this period of anime coming to America, there's not a lot of, you know, the the smaller cartoon size, smaller size cartoons like Hamtaro, okay. Uh, but but Hamtaro did sometimes make it over. And there was, for a very short time, a trend among anime fans to watch every episode of Hamtaro and have discussions about it. Kind of like, a, you know, you watch your Gundams, okay? You watch your X-Seeds, right? And then you kind of you you cool off a little bit. You cool down. And you watch your Hamtaro. The problem is, Hamtaro is for babies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was it was a very foolish trend. I didn't I didn't understand it. Someone is calling me, but not work. So, so anyway, Hamtaro Hamtaro is this cartoon, and the idea is real simple. It's about a hamster. Yeah, a pet hamster. And the pet hamster's pet friends and the very, very, very mild, very simple adventures they go on. There's no violence. They don't make trouble, not really. But there's always some sort of uh, <clears throat> very calm concern. They try to help each other with a, with a problem. But very, very simple problems. Very, very basic. Very relaxing. It's a very relaxing cartoon. <laughs> you know. And and it doesn't teach anything. You're not you're not the kids aren't learning anything. But they're also not getting into trouble either if kids are watching the show. So so that's Ham Taro.